There we go. Let's see if anybody shows up. All right. Well, I'll see if anybody shows up. Hello, fellow diecasters. Anybody out there? Let's talk Hot Wheels. On this Saturday evening. Yes. Uh, almost. Well, actually, 6 o'clock uh, Pacific, which would make it 9 o'clock on the East Coast. And whatever part of the world you're watching from. You're watching from. Let's see if we can get some people to come on here and, and talk Hot Wheels with us here a little bit. Thought we'd do this today, something new for the channel. Just sit down and do something live and talk with our, our fellow subscribers and get everybody else's uh, take on stuff and all that kind of stuff. So let's see if some people come on. Um, for the people that are probably watching this on the, on the uh, later on, um, I got a little haul. Um, I picked up two cars for him, but he already had them. So I gave him the Shaden, um, the Unimog, and the uh, the white uh, Jeep from this year. White Jeep. Uh, Truck. Commander. Yeah. I think it's called the Commander. Yeah, it's a Commander. I think but it's uh, the Commander. I picked up uh, four cars. Um, I went by Walmart, and they had they only had three of this set left, and they had one of the uh, the uh, Studebaker. What year is this? Sixty-three Studebaker Champ Truck. Wow. I like that one. That was pretty cool. So I picked that one up. The only ones they had was one of those, one of the Ford F one fifties, and one of the Path Beater. Everything else was gone already. So, and then I hit Fred Myers yesterday. Fred Myers in Walgreens. Um, I found the Skyline that I hadn't been able to pick up yet from from this year, from two thousand nineteen. And I picked up. I can only find one of these. I already got one of these for Elijah, but I. Picked up the Land Rover Series uh, Three pickup one, truck. That one would be cool. I'll have to see if I can find Elijah one of these down the road. Same nose as the uh, first Land Rover truck. Yeah. It's just got that. So these are these are from the B from the B and the E cases this year. <clears throat> and then I picked up um, from the Forza set from last year. This would be last year's Forza set. Um, the 911 GT3 RS, I bought this for the wheels. I have a custom idea to use these wheels on. I already have one of these open and one in the package, so I picked this up. I'm going to put a different set of wheels back on this car and give it to Shaden after I steal the wheels. So That's the haul. Not very big. Just... But uh, my our Walmart out here on this side of town hasn't had anything new, even main lines, mm. anything new. In about a month and a half. And that's where we're going to start our talk. Is the Drought of Hot Wheels in yes. the West. Hey out there. Uh, hey Supercar Z06. How you doing? The West has been having a pretty big issue with Hot Wheels. We've been in a big drought. Car culture. Mainline even. We're always three to five cases behind. Thank you for that. Thank you. Yeah. We gotta yeah. finish getting his up that in his room. Yeah, I still have two boxes not unpacked from when we moved. He's a little slow. <laughs> yeah. Um, especially here, up in the Northwest, we've been experiencing really bad Hot Wheel drought car culture. We The latest car culture we have is the transport trucks. And we haven't got circuit the... legends, but even then we didn't get much of them, and a lot of other collectors got to them. And then you have other places that are on the east side of the U.S. that are in a complete flood of Hot Wheels. Well, you've seen the pictures of all those Seeing dump bins. From I, I saw that huge Walmart dump bins. I saw a uh, post on Facebook that had one of those like giant. Bouncy balls. Boxes on boxes. Yeah, those giant bouncy ball cages. Uh, cages full of hot wheels. Full of hot, just complete all over the side, as far out as they can get them, next to a dump bin of hot wheels. You know, and it seems like Hot Wheels almost isn't getting their distributions balanced, and it it. Well, it's not really Hot Wheels' fault. It's the company's the, ordering. Stuff. Yeah, and. I think another problem of it is is 
some stores aren't recognizing what we want, what collectors want, because they just think about the sale, really. I think the biggest problem is, is Hot Wheels now has three series of cars all at the same price point. You've got the the uh, Fast and the Furious cars that are five forty nine. You've got Car Culture, which is five forty nine, and I believe the what replaced Retro Entertainment. I'm not sure what they're calling it uh, now. They still have Pop Culture. I think well, the Pop Culture is cheaper. They're they're um, three yeah, forty nine or something like that. Pop culture, it's all pop culture is really most people's wheel customs, the customs and wheel donor custom area. support area. But um, where they get most of those. Yeah, but back to what I was trying to tell you is, and I think whatever they call it now, the one that has the uh, that has the I think a big problem is that they're always keep the dumb dump bins by wall at Walmart. Dump mm -hmm. dump yeah. So, but uh. And then they've got what 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 replaced Retro Entertainment, the one that has the uh, the Doctor Strange Lambo and the Back to the Future Merc and that set wouldn't now. That, wouldn't they're, that be Retro? Well, no, it they changed the name of it. I can't remember what they call it now. But they're all the same price point, and the the stores are only picking one of the three, and they're it's mostly the picking Fast and the Furious because that's what's Pet selling probably. hot. Because it's a movie franchise. Well, yeah, and it's a uh, hot. It always keeps removing the dump bin bins at Walmart. Well, the same with ours. They'll they'll bring the dump bin out, and I think they're using the same. They've been using the same dump bin for like yeah. a year now. And but, dump bins also have a problem of using them because cards get beat up in dump bins. Because you pull them out, they'll be hooked to other cards. Then those other cards will tear and. You know, they're they're kind of fun to dig through, but you know, I I don't can damage the the cards. Yeah, but uh, and... that's that's my biggest gripe is with the premium cards. Is Walmart stopped carrying car culture? They haven't had any car culture since I think probably cargo carriers. There we go. When the new display, they remove, remove it at Walmart. Yeah. But, uh, and then, uh, so, and our Fred Myers, the Fred Myers, when the 50 Faves came out, Fred Myers got rid of car culture to replace it with 50 Faves, and now the 50 Faves is done, they, they're they getting yeah, Fast and the even, Furious cars. We didn't even get much of those. So, they're, they, they don't have that. As far as I know, then the only place in Yakima, um, Walgreens is carrying them every now and again. I, that's where I got the laurel from the golf set. Was it was at uh, Walgreens, but they're they're hit and miss. It's like they're getting them like partial cases in totes and they're just putting them out. So and they had um, that's like uh, that's like the, the, this year's Forza set. The only place I saw them was at Walgreens, and I saw two. The 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 the. I haven't even uh, seen any of I saw the, the mini. They had a mini one, and I pick, I didn't pick that up because I already had, like, four, and I thought, well, I'll get that later on down the road. And then I got the, uh, I picked up the Toyota, the, no, the, the, uh, the one that they redesigned that I did a video on. This, this it starts with an S. But the blue one with the brand new wheels on it. Um, mm. I picked that one up, and those are the only two I saw. I never saw the Beamer. I never saw the Lambo and the, I can't remember what the fourth car was. And then, of course, the Mini Cooper. And without having Toys R Us, we can't get the, we can't get the five, five pack because that was a Toys R Us exclusive. So we couldn't mm -hmm. get that this year. Hopefully, so it's a rumor of it becoming Jeffrey's Toy Bin. Was that the name? Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully so, they'll bring that back as well. Yeah, and so we'll it's, get cases again. Yeah, so it's you know it's getting two. old. It's getting frustrating for us for premium cars because if we want car culture, we have to drive all the way across town to Target, and that's even been problematic because the last everybody else knows you have to. The go uh, last three too. times I've been to Target, they're still dealing with shop trucks from last year, so I don't know. What's going on there? So it, it looks yeah, like it, we're gonna have to either go through A and J Toys and get cases, or we're gonna have to buy full sets on eBay, pay eBay premium prices, which sucks. 
because you're paying almost, you know, half or twice as much for a set off of eBay than what you could buy at the store. And, and I was really, I was really depressed. I, I want to thank John for sending us the, uh, circuit the legends. circuit legend cars. Thank you very much. I am working on something for you, by the way. Um, it's, it's in, it's in the progress. I'm going to be, uh, I'll do a video of it after it's done and after I've mailed it to you. And there may be some other things in there with that, but, uh, what new display? Oh, that's the same comment. Okay. So, uh, so I'll get that to you, John, uh, here pretty soon. I'm still working on something. We'll get back to you, but I want to thank him for that. But it was really depressing that we couldn't, we didn't find gassers. Which sucked. We didn't find any of the giant uh, strip demons. Not uh, we haven't seen a single no, one. I haven't seen a single. We didn't see and any then, circuit legends either. The circuit legends. The we uh, saw. I saw shop trucks at Target, and the only two I ever saw was the Econo Liner, which I bought, and the Subaru, which I bought. The other three, the uh, Rabbit or not the Rabbit, but the BMW truck and both Chevys were gone. Never saw them. Yeah, and then you have these posts on Facebook of people. Who have seven of each in yeah. that set, and it's it's a little ridiculous. And then they end up selling them on eBay for twice to three times as much as what you'd get them in the store. Yeah, so it's it's a little depressing because I I love car culture. Um, you guys can see we really started we collecting an car culture, wall. and it was it, it's I, I love the cars. I love the themes that they're doing. And I like, don't get me wrong, I like Fast and the Furious, I like the Fast and the Furious cars, but, you know, the stores have chosen that over the other two, and it just kind of sucks. And then not having our Walmart, which is close by where I can hit on the way home from work every day, not having, you know, regular cases, that's usually my place to go to to buy consecutive case cars, because they always seem to have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, you know, all and the way down the line. That's... Like they fall behind on the cases and then they just skip cases. And, and then, you, then know, you miss out. Just, you miss out. It like, doesn't work. Like I've said before, when it comes to mainline cars, I'm the new edition collector. I love the new cars. I and that's my main um, goal with the case. And if I miss a case, I either have to hope that that car continues in the next case and doesn't change the paint, doesn't isn't the recolor yet or, to pick it up. So or you have to find it on eBay or. Or, you know, hope that that's like, that's like this one here. I missed Walmart. I think Walmart had a B case, but by the time I got there, these were gone. Everybody bought this out of that case. And I'm like, oh, great. So I either have to wait for the recolor, which I don't think I liked because it was white. Or was that the Kmart exclusive? That was a Kmart exclusive car. But the other color, which I can't remember what it was, but I was lucky that my friend Myers got in a bunch of cases. And was able to find some of the new stuff because that's what I buy. When it comes to the other cars, I'll only buy it if the if the paint scheme on it and the tempoing I like because I I I don't like to have a ton of one type of car. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of stand out from its other yeah. casting. So I don't really have a problem with Hot Wheels and what Hot Wheels is doing, other than the price point thing. It's really it's really stupid to have three different series at the same price point because then it makes the stores. Then it makes the stores pick. Got to scroll up. Or for some reason, we're not. I'm a case. Hold on. Get out of the way, Errol. Oh, come on. Hold on. Uh, I see all messages. Come on. There we there go. There we go. Okay. I don't think my... Sh was Fred Myers. Fred Myers. You don't think your state has Fred, Fred Myers? Myers. Now, Fred Myers, if you guys don't know, uh, up in the Pacific Northwest, it's Fred Myers, but they're owned by Kroger. So um, it's so that your Kroger would be the same thing, or um, I believe your Myers stores are also part of that family as well. So that's kind of giving you guys a little um, uh, thing. Uh, Fred Myers is only in Washington, Oregon. I think Idaho and maybe Northern California. Yeah, because um, we 
there is a Fred Myers in Eureka, I think. Yeah, so the, yeah. Uh, so yeah, Northern California. Fred Myers so Northern Eureka. California. Yeah, Northern so California. That's the only way they operate. The only places they operate in. They so. probably don't go down past Sacramento. No, I, I don't think so. I don't think, so, I don't yeah. think they would go down that far. But they're they're owned by Kroger, so if you have a Kroger, it's the same. They probably get the same same style of product. Mm -hmm. But that's like. The, but back to the whole price point thing it, it's making oh and, oh, and canada. canada okay oh, yeah. so they're probably eat, uh western canada too then but uh they have three price points really because before you had you had car culture which was cheap it was you had pop culture and then you had retro entertainment was, the, was high, the high high was food. the high end and now you've got three Ugh. At that same price point, which really sucks. Yeah, and, you know, it, it <clears throat> like he said, it really forces the stores to choose one of them Yeah, instead to of sell. having one or two. Because they don't want to have two at the same price point and have to stock two lines of the same price point. Let alone three. Yeah, let alone three. Now, I do, I do have seen some places get in a shipper of what is now what used to be Retro Entertainment. But they don't have it. They don't carry it on a regular basis. Yeah. So, but that that's kind of my gist right now um, on on where to get stuff. Um, we still haven't seen the latest cargo, uh, the latest cargo carriers yet. They haven't hit here yet. JDM and the JDM, the the, the BRE, BRE Dotson, and the Gasser with the retro rig. We haven't seen those yet. Um, Red, Walmart still. Walmart, those are pretty much everywhere. Walmart, Fred Meyer's. Yeah, we can. Um, we can basically. We can find those if we can get there before the big collectors get there, because that they're yeah. that's like the the last set that had the snake and the mongoose in it. That was hard to find. They were gone. It, as soon as they were pegged, they were gone. So yeah. I I was lucky that I had a friend who's also a Hot Wheel collector who's retired who's on disability who can hit places early in the morning and he picked up two for me and I just paid him for them. I may have to do that with the BRE car. I think the Gasser are going to be kind of be easy to find. I'm not yeah. sure about the JDM car. The JDM or the, B, the BRE especially. Uh, those will probably be the two hot ones out of that case. And yeah. then I'm not sure who, what the carryover is for that case. If somebody knows what the carryover car, because there's four to a, four different ones to a case. So something from the last case is carrying over, and it might be the Isn't it Gretty the car. It might be the Gretty with the Laurel in it. Maybe. I'm not sure. Somebody, let, if you guys know. Oh, what, yeah. I think it, that might be the JDM car. No, no, no. No? There's four different red, four different cargo carriers in a case. There's yeah. three new ones, and then there's a carryover from the last case. Yeah. So. Oh, you mean tempos and everything. Yes. Oh, okay. Sorry. So it is probably the gritty. Okay. I would say. Because they wouldn't carry over the snake and the mongoose and only carry one of them over. No, because the gritty and, the gritty truck is what's going to become the JDM truck. I know, but they carry one over from the last case in that paint scheme. Okay, all right, all right, all right. All right. He wants to argue with me. All right. You miss miss a car that will go to the next case. You, yeah, usually you gotta yeah something like that. I know. I think it's one or something. But we're waiting to see those. I am. I'm hoping to be able to pick up some. Some. Um, we're, we're hopefully we'll have the money to order a case of the silhouette set from Car Culture because oh, I want all five of those yeah. cars. That is a cool see? set with two two new cars in that in that set. You've got the Monza, the two plus two Monza, and that new Porsche in that set. On top see? of the other three. And I want um, those. Another big problem we have is we don't get enough cars for how many collectors we have in this valley. Yeah, well, we've got we've got somebody in the valley in Yakima that is selling on eBay because I've seen him listed, and his hometown is Yakima. It's either Yakima or Sela, which is a little suburb here of Yakima, and he's a. Uh... Come on. This was highway in the hell. Hey, how you doing? Um, we, uh, who's buying up, who's listing on eBay before they get to the store, 
and then he's buying to fit orders, and I think that's, you know, it used to be in the Va in, in Yakima, back in the early 2000s, we had a ton of collectors. And then when Hot Wheels got kind of, they started bringing out the bling cars and the tuned cars and that, they kind of dropped off. Now that Hot Wheels is coming back and they're coming out with all the JDM and the, the really car culture car and all that culture. stuff, everybody's getting back into it and it's getting hard to find stuff again. And another problem with some of the, it's not really a problem as in how, what they're doing, but a problem among collectors is all the cars that they're doing in car culture have such an extreme historical value in their racing history or in the car's history alone that collectors want them. It's the the BRE Dotson. Yeah. For uh, one. I mean that um, car there's only three different versions of the BRM if you include the 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 cargo carriers one. And the first two are are the vintage the, racing one goes for itself. over three hundred dollars, goes over for two hundred dollars on eBay. The one that was in the yeah. RLC car culture box goes for anywhere between ninety to one hundred and twenty right now, and this next and one may go, yeah. may head in that same direction. So, but I mean, the nine sixty two Porsches and right, I'm right, right. That's yes. a nine sixty two. Okay, good, and um. done all right sorry all right, about that sorry sorry about that our internet sucks but um but uh back to what he was yeah. talking about the only problem with his idea on the 962 is both winning cars at Le Mans were tobacco sponsors and yeah yeah you that, can't do that, that now. they can't do that now um so Lafins that would be a little that would be a, a little hard sponsor uh, okay, scroll no, down. We're we're no, I think we're still fine. Okay, yeah. Um, that's one of the problems, but if they could have done it in the winning paint schemes, they would have been extremely hard to find. Probably all over the U.S. Um, the if BRE Porsche was hard to find, or Dotson, I meant Dotson, was hard to find because of its historical racing value. And just... All in all, a lot of these cars have an extreme historical racing value, or just value in general, and it makes them hard to find. Especially the, the how big Japanese, the JDM stuff is right now. Some oh, of those yeah. are really hard to find. Yeah. Some of them are, some of them aren't. It depends on whether they're new or, or whether they're recolors of an, of, one, of an already existing car, but... Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see when, when we finally get the new cargo carriers, what sells and what doesn't. And then, on top of that, all the other stuff. But there's still some pretty cool cars coming out um, mainline this year. Um, there's, I think there's still a new Porsche coming. And then there's a couple others, too, that are coming. I haven't been really up on what's new this year for some reason. And I think the, the my problem is I'm not excited like I've been in years past because it's hard to find car culture. Yeah, it's been... It's been kind of disencouraging lately with what we haven't been getting. Yeah, so it's kind of hard to get into it. So I haven't been following everybody else on, on YouTube and watching case reports to see what's coming out, when or what. But um, I was happy to find these two. I'm happy to find the new ones that I have found so far this year. And then, you know, just not having car culture. So kind of let us know what you guys have having in your area. Yeah. Are you guys having the same issues we are? You having a drought? As your guys' places all gone to, um, all gone to, to Fast and the Furious and don't have car culture and you got to go to your Target to get car culture or whatnot. Um, I haven't been to our Walmart on the other side of town because it's like right across the freeway from, from Target. With the one we call Ghetto Mart. <laughs> It, it's I don't like going to that place, but uh, <laughs> so, but I haven't been out there. But I'm assuming they're having about the same issue that this one is out here, on getting stuff in. <clears throat> so, uh, oh, I knew we had to okay. scroll up. So the GTR from the new series is always getting scalpers, yeah. And then I haven't. Oh, hold on, come on. It's come. Nice to show this one. 
Come on. Okay. So, kind of state this girl. So, I haven't seen any FF sets, old ones. Yeah, we haven't seen the new set yet either. Um, the only ones that we have, that I have seen have been the one that has the the Ford Escort and uh, which I think is the first set. Nobody's gotten the next set in. Um, I've seen pictures of the next set um, with muscle cars that supposedly has two Chevelles in it. And there's a big argument over there's a big argument over whether that set is actually real or not with the two Chevelles in it. It supposedly has two 70s Chevelles in it. I don't think I've seen that one. No. But uh, here, you talk. I'll be right back. I have a bathroom. I haven't really seen that one. I saw um, pictures on Facebook. Okay. Well, he keeps up with a lot more than I do. Um, I just kind of... I don't get out much on my own yet. Um, I don't have... A license of my own haven't had the money to get a driver's license but um I just kind of when I get my stuff I kind of go to the store and I see what's there I don't keep up on what's coming out as much as he does um and I I do and I don't but um it has been quite disencouraging uh, with all of the the drought that we've Angel. had in Hot Wheels, Angel. and Angel, what? No, without being on. able to Come find on. a lot of what we want, Come on. Come on. it's a bit disencouraging. Hey, it kind of turns you Come off on. from wanting to collect because you just always feel like you're not going to find anything that you want, and so. It, it just kind of puts you out of it. Okay. And I, I'm kind of starting to get to that point. <coughs> kind of being put out of collecting because I always feel like there's not going to be anything we're looking for anymore. Yeah. It'd be nice if everybody can get, you know, stuff in and we don't have all kinds of people hoarding stuff and everything. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest problem, too, is when people get into the hobby, they're not quite sure what they want to collect. And, and, and all of a sudden, they just start buying everything. Uh, Mark, my friend who got me the rigs, who's that? He, he gets that way. He goes, he, he tries to keep himself, you know, on a level line. And the next thing you know, he's like, he's all over the joint. Yeah. And he's, he's buying since, everything. Ever since, like, we started I'm collecting again. I'm always getting out the hand employees, suck a Dollar Tree. My Dollar Tree never has anything. Uh-uh, ever. It's very mm -hmm. rare to find Hot Wheels at our Dollar Trees. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah. So hopefully hopefully it'll change, and hopefully our Walmart out here will start getting cases again, mm -hmm. uh, main lines. And then hopefully they start, they'll get, you know, some other stuff in. And not, the, the diecast cast aisle at our Walmart out there has been, and it's just not Hot Wheels, it's been empty all the way down, uh, Matchbox. Uh -huh. Um, uh, Auto World, they have pegs for Auto World. So they can make money. They can make money. The pegs, yeah. so. They leave them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't buy that. Yeah. So it's, and I haven't found, I haven't found a super in a really oh, long yeah. time either. Supers are hard to find. Not since I got the, not since I got the, I found three of the Bone Shaker, uh, super, well not super chase, ultimate chase or whatever they call that, in a dump bin at, the, at our Walmart out there, so. Of the 50 anniversary. Yeah, the 50 One anniversary the 50 cards, anniversary. yeah, so. I've been looking, um, but I, I think everybody's getting to them before me, because I've seen, I've seen a lot of the regulars of the supers. But I haven't been able to pick one up. I mean, I usually don't. I'm not out as much, so I don't, you know, I get supers when people miss them or I'm lucky that a Walgreens stocked late or something and I picked them up, pick them yeah. up that way. But We haven't been to a Walgreens in a while. I've been to the, I visited Walgreens yesterday. Oh, okay. That's where I picked this up, but they didn't have anything new. See, this, thing's been, this thing's been hanging on the peg at that Walgreens for, for at least two months. 
It's so, been up there forever. Then they still have a Ford GT hanging on the peg that's been there about as long as that one's been there. And I only bought it because I want the wheels off of it. You know, for another custom idea. So, but you know, that's our little rant on on you know everybody our Hot Wheels situation. Our Hot Wheels situation. So, but outside of that, um, I don't know if we're, we haven't figured out what our next custom's gonna be yet. Mm -mm. Is there anything you want to do? I've got a couple uh, of ideas. I still want to do that truck, but we still don't have enough Ford Raptors for it yet. Oh, they did. Yeah. Yeah. We want to take precautions. I work at Walmart part time, and I don't. <sighs> Damn. Stop doing that. Phones are annoying. Okay. So, uh, the back guys I see every week, they oh, are up. up to, but don't go and get the. For the guys that struggle to find good stuff. Yeah. Especially for people like us that aren't mm -hmm. buying. 10 or 12 of the same car in one shot, you know? Yeah, like, at that a lot of... There's a good few people that do that. Yeah. And it just... It leaves us in the dust to not get it. And it's... Yeah. Yeah, and that's... Because if I walk in there... I'll, I'll walk out with... If it's, like, a brand new case and they're all there, I'll walk out with five or six or eight cars, but they'll all be... Different unless I'm buying two, one for me, one for him. So you know, it's that. That's how I buy my cars. I don't really buy a ton of the same car unless I look at one and I, I a custom idea pops into my head right off the bat. Yeah, and and then I'll pick up two because I want one open, and then I'll do another yeah, one for most, a custom idea. Most of our cars that we get now, we open and we put them in planos. We don't keep them in case a lot anymore, especially car culture, since the price has gone up. Yeah, we only buy one We only and buy open. them to open them. And we really only buy two to keep one in the package and to open up one if we really, really like it. And right. we want to keep one in pristine condition in the package. <clears throat> but, yeah, so it's that's kind of all of that. But, um, so, car, yeah, custom, we haven't thought of the next custom yet. Um, I kind of want to do something different. Yeah. Something we haven't done we've yet. We've done a lot of trucks and like, street rods. Like, we haven't done a muscle car yet. No, we haven't. Or any kind of drag idea. Or we haven't, any, yeah, we haven't done, like, make a gasser should, out of something. We, we or, should do or a, a funny racing car. custom. Some kind of racing tier. Just any kind of racing. That might be a good idea. I wouldn't mind picking up one of the Chevelles. You know from cool? uh, from track day and doing something with it. Oh, wow! We like doing a Herschel we, McGriff car or I don't something. Think we have a Stratos. Because Hot Wheels did a Lancia Stratos, didn't they? Yeah, the yeah, one? yeah, yeah. Because the that was in the the mystery first series of the mystery cars. Black like this year. Cool. Do a a uh, find the the uh, what's the airline. Italia airline decal set for it and do an actual do a Lance act, yeah, Atlantis Stratos, Stratos uh, rally you know, car. It'd be, be really cool. cool if Hot Wheels made the Integral casting. Lancia Integral. Uh, Integral. Oh, you mean the Delta? The Delta. Delta Integral. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, in the Martini. Yeah, but it's an alcohol that sponsor. That would be cool. It'd be cool if they just did the D. No, the, I'm the, talking the, about just the casting. And yeah, no, we, we, could could, do we, we could do the martini. Yeah, so that'd be kind of cool. That'd, be, that'd cool. be really sweet. It'd be cool to do something rally. <clears throat> that'd be kind of cool. Since we did, we did we well, we just did a race car, but it was a it was a street car, so it'd be kind of cool to do a rally car or or a stock car paint job. That'd be kind of neat. That might yeah. be a good idea. I might have to look see how much a. I like the Chevelle, the Chevelles from the. You know, like from track day. Oh, yeah. The Chevelle that was in it would be yeah. a neat one to do. Um, what did you have on track day? You don't oh, no, I've only got two. The other one, the other two are open because they were oh, on big right. cards, remember? That's the right. Porsche that's and the Chevelle. Right. Yeah. And I never got I never got carded versions of it because the two I bought were all, the tops were all big. So, uh, so we're still working on that. Um... Uh, still working on bi-weeklies. I'm sorry about three for Thursday. Um, we'll uh, I'll try. I'll try and shoot a couple this weekend. We're gonna. We've said it a lot.
but we're going to get back into the role of things. So hopefully our, our internet will improve, and it'll improve my wanting to do more videos, because that's my problem. It takes so long to upload with our internet speed that I can't upload like four or five videos at the same time. But it takes two takes like two hours, and, and it ends up being like six hours. and takes so days. That's kind of why we decided to do this live today, was so we could just sit and talk and, and stuff, but... I know we only really got one person on here, but what is your guys' uh what do you guys like to collect for Hot Wheels? Or is it Matchbox or Auto World or uh Greenlight or what am I missing? Oh M2. M2, yeah. There we go. I'm sorry our channel is Hot Wheel heavy, but that's my main my main love is Hot Wheels. I buy a few matchbox here and there if I like the cars. Oh, it's the same. Oh, yeah, let's go down. Other brands from Hot Wheels. <sighs> Have a good night. Be back to our recap later. <laughs> uh, peace, chicken grease. Okay. For some reason, my gal, girl, always finds good right, right <laughs> away. <laughs> That's, <coughs> That's nice. nice. That's nice. Yeah. <sighs> I like to collect other brands. Uh, M2, Greenlight and M2 do They some do some good cool stuff. stuff. The only problem is, is it's it's too expensive. It, yeah. <clears throat> I, I like how detailed to, it is, but it's it a lot so to collect a lot of them anyways. Yeah. Like <clears throat> every once in a while here oh majorette. Old majorette's really good. Old majorette stuff. All like, the yeah, old stuff is the pretty cool. Old, the old trucks. What are those called? Yeah. The heavy hauler the trucks. The heavy hauler trucks. Uh, we have a few of those. I really like those trucks. They're really good quality stuff. That stuff's hard to find now, um, nowadays. The we, old stuff. We need to get some of their new stuff. We need to look at some of that stuff. The problem with that is, is Seeds Toys R Us has gone out of business. Nobody oh, else yeah. in town carries them. We should have gotten them before they, they went out. I've seen a few of the cause... new... Um, there's a couple new rally cars that they've done, and I've seen people pick up and post on a thing that are really cool. Yeah. Are the they... the VW and I can't remember what the other one was, but they're really neat. I wouldn't mind you know seeing one in person, but nobody in I, town uh, carries them now that the Toys R Us closed. I wanted one of those. <clears throat> there was a truck that um had a it was a truck and it had two rally cars in it. Oh, but yeah. I wasn't sure I wanted to get it because the wheels just looked like these flimsy little plastic wheels that moved on now, the that's axle. My, that's my time. biggest problem with, it, with Major X is the wheels aren't very nice. quality to me. Um, I think they need to change their wheels. Um, they didn't... Like, when I think Majorette, I think the heavy hauler trucks because that's what I first saw and messed around with uh, in Majorette area. Um, so... I kind of expect expected when they came back to the United States yeah. to be that way, and they weren't. They just looked low quality and flimsy. There, there's a lot of green light stuff I like too, but the only problem with that is That's the only so place and well, it's expensive, and the only place that carries it here in town that carries green light on a regular basis is Hobby Lobby, because our Walmart doesn't carry them. They only carry M2, Auto World You'll when they get a them. Few of them. The yeah, Auto World oh, when they actually Joe have Perkins. them in, but. Um, to get green light, we gotta go to we gotta go to Hobby Lobby. Yeah. So yeah. and I we're not I'm not there a whole lot. I only go there when I need paint, and then I look at their hot look at their cars while I'm there. Yeah. Cause that uh that that Ford truck that they just recently came out with the racing truck was really we, cool. We still wanted to find the Gas Monkey Garage truck and trailer. We, oh we yeah. We never found that. We wanted that. My Walmart had stopped auto has stopped auto roll. Ours had a couple a while back. I don't know if it's just. They leftover carry, or what but. they carry a good amount of m2 and i've seen a green light here and there a few of the hitch and toes and some of the bigger trucks yeah. but they're iffy they're here and there they're not a lot really um they carry That's a right. lot of m2 and auto world every once in a while it's it's not big like matchbox and hot wheels but yeah of course matchbox and hot wheels they're really the monopoly of the die cast world yeah um, some of the M2 stuff is really cool. I just have a hard time paying, what, yeah. what is it, at Walmart 6-something? Personally, for me... Um, Sucks because the new Chevy trucks are coming. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. 
My thing about Auto World Greenlight Majorette is me. I'm still re uh, relatively a kid. Um, they don't roll well, and you know Hot Wheels do. And I don't really mess with them as toys at all, really anymore. But it it just it still matters to me, and they they just don't roll well, and I don't like it. Yeah, there's some of them. And are... um, some a lot of the it's hit and miss the on Auto they roll World or not. The Auto World and um, especially the M2 stuff, their wheel, the wheels on them, they just they don't look right to the car. They're not sometimes sometimes like they, they should do, be. sometimes they do sometimes they don't. It just and depends it just, on the car. That's that's why I don't like getting them a lot is because of the wheels. They're just big and they're fat on the bottom of it and just doesn't look right. But um, I I do have a few M2. I have an M2 truck. And I have a few M2 cars, and um, I have a green light hitch and tow, which I really like. That that's something I really like from green light is the hitch and tows. Yeah. But um, we're just big into the Mattel stuff. They basically really, it's because I was raised on Hot Wheels, so. Well, I mean, you, that's why you were born the day, or the, not the day, but well, the, the year, year that they released. Out, so. I've always had Hot Wheels, and it, it's just my main focus is Hot Wheels, so. That's why we. That's why the channel is kind of hot wheel heavy. I do have a car. Hold on, let me go grab it. That my wife picked up at, at a Goodwill. That might be a cool custom. That is a. I'm not quite sure what brand this is. Um. Used under license, made in China. Not sure what maker this is, but this I can, I'm looking at making doing a custom of this four 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 X two. Might be kind of a neat, as you can see, it's missing one of the wheels there. X2? 44X, oh, sorry, my uh, slot car. Um, I was going to say, that's an old 442. 442, it's a little bit of <laughs> slot car stuff coming in there, guys, sorry. Uh, don't forget to check out our other channel, Slot Car Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of where that's coming from. You might but, find that you like slot cars, they're fun to mess with. But uh, this is, my wife found this at the Goodwill um, the other day. It might be kind of cool maybe to do a custom of it or just maybe a straight yeah. wheel swap. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> yeah, four, four, a 4-4-2 four, four, Oldsmobile, which might be kind of cool. I, I looked at that and I'm like, that might be cool with for, you know, throw some Hot Wheel wheels on it or something. Might yeah. be kind of cool. Do something really neat to see if I can find it. Um, but, uh, that's kind of where that's coming. Um, I am working on a couple of things for me. I've got some stuff stripped. Um, that I might show custom wise that I'm just doing for myself that I'm doing outside of the channel other than the thing I'm working on for John um, I've got a Mustang that I'm, I'm trying to do something really cool with um, I stripped one of the Toyota 4Runners or 4x4 trucks I was going to say they haven't Hot Wheels hasn't done a 4Runner yet. yeah so I'm kind of doing something with that for myself I suppose see fantastic great job yeah so it's a uh, couple years now enjoy awesome oh cool Ooh, that's awesome cool you're one of the almost 2,000 subs to slot car crazy so uh yeah so we're uh yeah so i'm just kind of doing that um and then of course i i try and hit walmart once a week and walgreens the two walgreens that are close once a week and fred meyers about once a week uh, from Hot Wheels Legends of, of, League of Indonesia. Indonesia, wow. Cool. Nice. What was that before that? You're all incredible. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we try We try to do our best. Um, but that's uh, kind of what we're trying to hit and trying to find some stuff and trying to... Uh, Three years of collecting. What? Three years of collecting. Oh, cool. Yeah. It's fun. I've been collecting my whole life. I don't have, you know, I've got a lot of cars, but I don't have, like, you know, a ton of cars because I, I don't collect movie. the same casting over and over and over again. Because I'm from Thailand. Thailand. Um, I, they're, they're where Hot Wheels are made. A good amount. Hot but, uh, Thailand and... But uh, it's kind of, kind of, uh, I've been kind of in and out of the hobby my whole life. I get really deep into it, and then I kind of steer away from it. I don't get rid of my cars, but I kind of get rid of buying a ton, and then I kind of get back into it. Oils, Indonesia, many partnerships in the USA have collecting since 2002. Hey, that's I found a BRE, found a BRE 
Where did we find a BRE transporter today? Oh, nice. Was pumped. Yeah, nice. I want that. That's what I want. Where, uh, where are you? For one. Yeah, Joe. Where you at, East Joe? East side, west side, middle. East coast, Midwest, west coast. I think the problem with us is is it gets to us last. Even though we're the Found closest. Found the BRE transport. Oh, okay. So same, uh, no. same comment. It, it's down here. Oh, there we go. Ah. Yeah, Illinois. Illinois. So you're in the Midwest. So that's, yeah. I think I think how it works, because I know all of car culture comes out of Canada. And I think it hits the East Coast first. And it kind of works its way, works its way through the Midwest distribution wise through California, and then finally comes up. You too. Have a good weekend. Yeah, kind of, kind of comes up north to us, and finally hits us towards the end of the yeah the rotation. So, so, so. it comes from the west, goes east, up, and then goes east some more, and then back west. So yeah, <laughs> so it's kind of, kind of, kind of gets to us a little late. So we kind of, we kind of come in late when it comes to car culture and the cargo carriers yeah. and stuff. We're probably going to start seeing that stuff in probably about a week and a half, two weeks. Give or take, I'd yeah. Say. I'd say, yeah, uh, because they've had, they've had the same ones for a while now, so hopefully they'll they'll hit and they'll we'll, I'll be able to see them before they're all swiped Gone. up. But, uh, hopefully. So there's, you know... I mean, at least see them. But uh, what? What? Are you, uh, so now that we answered the the other question, what is your guys' main collecting uh, influence? Are you guys um, do you guys like muscle cars? Are you guys hot rod uh, guys? Are you guys cars. um, uh, race car guys? Or do you kind of collect or trucks or collect? Because we kind of collect a myriad of all. I'm I'm. Um, basically, when it comes to the cars, I, I like I like the muscle cars. Um, Mainly, mainly Vets and uh, Chevelles and uh, the Dodges is my kind of when it comes to muscle. Um, I love street rods. Um, of course, we love race cars. That's oh, our yeah. main love. And then I love the truck. Uh, some of the trucks I got. I wasn't really into them for a while, but I kind of got back into the trucks. But we'll see. Okay. I love love JDM and collecting like everything, everything, collecting everything. Yeah. yeah, I like JDM. I'm a big, I'm a big. When it comes to JDM, I'm a big Datsun guy. Um, I love two forties. Yes. Um, I love two forties. I love the, uh, I love the, 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 I love the five ten. I love race cars too. Yeah. All right, let's bone shakers JDM. Yeah, bone shakers are kind of cool. You can, I mean, the bone. There's they, tons they of do bone a shakers. Lot. They do there's way. So many. I think oh I've got. God. Even though I think I've got. Even myself being a guy that only collects. You know, it's, I think I've got six bone shakers. Because uh, yeah. yeah. there's three there. Hot Wheels has done a lot. I've bone got shakers. two over here, and then I think there's another one hanging around somewhere. And then I also have one of the the full roof version bone shakers as well somewhere. Oh yeah, those ones are cool. I think that one's. I think that one's still in the package somewhere because I haven't had room to put it out. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I love. We love race cars. I love that they did the Mazda. Uh, seven eight seven, seven eight seven eight seven. That eight. car would have been so much harder to find if it was in its uh, orange well, and green paint scheme. That would have been a hard one for Hot Wheels to do, though. That's a hard. Yeah, that paint seems scheme. right. Well over a hundred variations of the bones. Yeah, yeah, that's probably it. it is. There's a there's ton. probably about that much. There's I ton. That would it. be. I'd be highly hard to see anybody. I think that has every version. Honestly, unless you're huge into. So many that does, but oh yeah, but yeah, that's really cool. I like I like collecting, um, like I said, new cars. But I will collect the I will buy another one if I love the paint scheme. That's like we saw the Gumball Rally Escort today, oh, yesterday yeah. at Freddy's. Yeah, I love the paint scheme, but I've already got four or five of that car already. I only have like two. I think you only have two. Well, I have the first, the very very first edition. I have in the package the the Fast and the Furious very first version. I have the latest Fast and the Furious premium one. I have the Castrol, uh, the oh, red yeah, no. Castrol. Oh, right there. There is. I have the red Castrol version, and then I have the Hot Wheels racing version from last year. So, hello, Max Crusher. What's up? 
Uh, we, we're trying okay. to scroll so we can see guy in Oklahoma. I know has ninety. Wow, Man, that's crazy. <laughs> I think I think the most one of one casting I have is the nineties. Is it the nineties Camaro? I think that's what it's called. This one right here. This I think this one right here, the nineties uh, Camaro. I think this is the car Camaro? I have the yeah. most. Of. I think I've got like six or seven versions of this car. That is the worst Camaro Chevy ever did. <sighs> I think I've got I've got six in here and I think I've got at least two more somewhere else that I have of that car. That's still probably the one I have the most different variations of. I think I th oh. Hold on. We're sorry. Give me a tip for tonight. Ah, there we go. There we go. Sorry. I'm getting a lot of phone right. calls since I'm looking for. Oh, come on. You'll have to call that one back. Oh, come on. Ah, there we go. There we go. Sorry about that. I'm getting a lot of phone calls since I'm looking for a new job, so. 99 uh. Camaro also has. Second gen, okay. yeah. He's more of an 80s, uh, 70s, 80s. 70s, 80s Camaro guy. <clears throat> as well as those years of Mustangs. Okay. Anything from the 70s and 80s and maybe early 90s, I will go for. That is the best time for cars in America. Well, Period. late 60s. Late 60s. 60, about 66 to about 71. Yeah. Best years. I, <laughs> um, honestly, I wish I grew up in that time. He wished he, time he, wished he was an 80s kid. You know, I, yeah. The way society and the world is now, and especially our country with it being divided like this, it's just, it's not fun. <laughs> but, you know, I try to worry about being a kid right now. 64 to mid-80s, best cars made. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. To about, I would say to about 85, 86 maybe. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm big into trucks, pickup trucks, and cars like, um, or trucks. They're not SUVs and they're not cars, but they're kind of not trucks. But Broncos, Ram Chargers, Blazers, especially Blazers. Um, what what now is what was if, referred to as an SUV. If but, yeah. I could have gotten a K5 blazer instead of a bronco i would have but for yeah american cars yeah anyway, yeah um um but a k5 i think would have been much harder to find in a good that would be a cool hot wheel it would be a cool hot wheel they've never done a k5 they, they've never, never done uh -huh. a k5 blazer but, um, hot wheel. That'd be out cool. of out of what would be now considered an suv the bronco ram charger and a k5 i would buy a K5 Blazer. Um, I love the look of them. Um, I love the the look of them when they're raised. Uh, they're, they look so good raised, but they just look good, period. And I would love for Hot Wheel to do one. That'd that be would be cool. really cool. I would buy it That'd in a, a neat, heartbeat. New, that'd be a neat, See, neat new casting. Um, they, they do the, the early 90s Blazer. Yeah. They do that one, but I don't... I, oh, that... They took the Blazer and they killed it with that car. Oh, yeah. Hot Wheels needs to do F1 cars? That would, At least somebody some, needs some to do F1 look, cars. That look like the F1 cars. Not, you know, one casting that they just repaint like they did. Over and over, yeah. Like they did. Now, they did do some really cool um, Ferrari, uh, I mean, some really cool F1 cars. Back in about the mid two thousands, early two thousands, but they were one twenty four scale cars. They never did any um, uh, one sixty four die cast, yeah. regular size Hot Wheel kind of cars, and and did them all different. We need so, somebody to at least do F one because I I, be I kinda, haven't seen cool. any die cast company. That would be cool. Do it F1. would also be kind of cool to see Hot Wheels maybe try and do some of the older, like when they did the six wheel. When they did the tear all. Oh, yes. The six-wheeler tear all car. That was what? That was like done in uh, 2013? 
2010, so 2011, when they did this car, it would be really cool to see them do some more of this era. Oh, yeah. That Formula era 1 especially. would be kind of cool. The only problem is, is they would have to change some paint schemes. I've I have i have seen twenty four scale. Yeah, they're yeah, they're not cheap. Sounds about right. They're not cheap. I have uh, I did a if you guys have seen it, I did a biweekly of this car. This is a Hot Wheel, and this one cost me about forty forty some dollars. So so this one from the eighties Ferrari. Man, I miss oh the. I think you tried to spell Ferrari and you spelled yeah Ferris. yeah that's I that, know I meant two I was, R's. I I hope I'm hoping uh, Hot Wheels gets the license back. I'm a huge Ferrari guy. Oh, the Senna movie on Netflix. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've seen this Senna movie. That's really really good movie. The his era of F1 and James Hunt and Nikki Lada's era of F1. That was really the 70s, best time for from F1. about seventy five to about eighty four eighty five. Would be kind of a cool year. The only problem is, is there's a few cars that they would have to kind of, kind of moon with because of tobacco sponsorship, like the McLarens. The McLarens with Marlboro. With Marlboro would be a little hard to do, but and then Lotus, to, Lotus with with the Grand with the John Player Specials would be kind of play on. <coughs> they'd have to do a play on. I the think wording. they'd have yeah. to do a play on the wording, but they could probably keep the paint. They'd scheme. probably keep the paint scheme. They would have to just kind of play on the words a little play, bit. Yeah, like do something like. Paul player special or know. something or so, change it up or something that would be kind of cool. Change it up a little bit, make a play on it or yeah, something. Yeah, that would be a cool but one. But that would be cool. Yeah. Um uh Renault, Renault wasn't a uh, No, Renault sponsor, would be they could they, so could, they could do, do that, that one without straight any out. issue. Um they could do uh, there's elf. a couple they others. They could do any elf. Yeah, there's a couple others that they could pull off without having them. Tyco did that with just Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they did that with several cars. Especially after that passed, mm -hmm. um, after the laws passed for tobacco sponsors. Uh, Aurora with the G Plus, they did a Lotus of the John Player Special, but it wasn't John Player Special. Um, oh, you have just, that. I have that. It's just black and white, and no. It's got the yellow pinstriping too. Yeah, this I year. don't think. Yeah. They didn't put the they didn't put the John Player on it, so Hot Wheels could do yeah, something like they just did a. Uh, yeah, could do something like that play on it without even putting the sponsorship on it, and st yeah. it still comes off as the John Player car. I'll put it right here. Right that would be that would be kind of cool. Would be cool to do. But something else I think they should do, um, car culture wise, is I would like to see a like a uh, Legends of Le Mans series. They they definitely have to. They've do got Tom enough Lord. castings. <laughs> They've got enough castings. Here's my here's my five cars for that set. A 962, the the Mazda 787B, the McLaren M F1. So cut yeah. The McLaren F1. Um the a 917, bring back the 917 that they had in the Hot Wheels 100 percent series. Oh yes. And then the new casting, and they can do it because they have the Mercedes license, would be either the C9 or the oh, C11. Oh, the C9. The C9. Yes. Would be a... They need to do that car. Which is, it would be a really cool... Oh to me, it would God. be a really cool car culture set. They need to do that car. And if you've never heard that car, go listen to that car. Well, Search that it one, up on YouTube. That one or the 878B. Go 787B. Sorry. Yep. Go look those two up on... The real cars up on, up on YouTube and so listen to them. so good. We've said it many times in videos, yeah. but we can't emphasize it enough. The, the C9... Does not sound like a Mercedes. Oh it sounds like God. a big block stock car. That that's because I it's mean, basically what well, it's, 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 it's a big block. It's a big block. It's a big block V8, but it's a Mercedes motor. It's insane. It's a cool car, but that would be and it'd be easy. The car's silver. There's no tobacco sponsors on it. There's hardly. It'd any be really. It'd be a really it. easy car for Hot Wheels to do. They have them. They have the Mercedes license back. They could do it. Real no, simple. That that car had no sponsors on it because it was a complete factory. Well, it's a complete factory car run by Sauber for the factory. Yeah. So that would be a cool one. To, but that would be a six set. Another one I'd like to see him do is a full-on American muscle car set. Yes. For car culture. Yes. And I'd say throw in some of the really cool <clears throat> American muscle cars that not everybody thinks about. Like an Olds 442. 
Which they don't have a casting of, so that would be a new that one. That would be a new one, and that would be cool. Just um, some of the, the lesser common muscle cars, but the, the, the muscle cars that are still good American muscle cars, not like a Vega. <laughs> well, that's not a muscle car. That's not a muscle car, but... Yeah, because um, usually when you think of muscle, it would be like... They would, Hot Wheels would do like the 68 Camaro yeah, or the 70 a Mustang. Typical, or... Yeah, that's what... When you think a muscle car, that's probably what immediately jumps in your mind. A Challenger, a Charger, a Camaro, Camaro Mustang. Mustang. You know, you don't think of older classic cars like Oldsmobile or... They don't have a lot of... Hot Wheels doesn't have a lot of Oldsmobiles um, in, the, in the castings. Um, a Buick. A Buick. Uh, uh, oh, what is that car? Uh, not a Regal, but... Dang, that guy goes rich as a gift. Uh... <laughs> What is that car? Mm. Cutlass? No, not a Cutlass. No, it's, no, not a Buick Cutlass. Um, right. I'm trying to think of it because the car I'm thinking of is in Gran Turismo, and it is green. I'm trying to think of it, but um, that would be cool. Mm. Just some of the the lesser known muscle cars, but they're not the bad muscle cars. Grant, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Um, for sure. And I think it'd be cool to do a strictly, personally, because I like trucks, um, an American truck uh, 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 car culture. Stuff like Blazers, if they could do the K5 Blazer, it'd be a new casting, that'd be really cool. A Ram Charger, they've never done a Ram Charger. A Bronco, especially 80s Bronco. 80s Bronco? Or 60s, they've done a 60s, and that was really cool. But an 80s Bronco is probably the early Bronco and the 80s Bronco are the best years for me. Mm. Those are my favorite so, years of Broncos. What are we talking about? A Bronco? Uh, 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 tr American truck car culture. Personally, because oh. I like trucks. You well, know? and you're, and yeah, because they kind of did shop trucks, but that wasn't all American. No, because there was the there was a, the VW was in there. That'd and be cool. and the uh, the Subaru. I've heard of uh, there's an off road set coming in this year's car culture. That'd be cool. And I'm not sure what's in it because I haven't seen pictures of it yet. Um, if you haven't heard of it yet, we're kind of going off from the truck theme. But Lotus or not Lotus Lancia is doing another Stratos. It'd be well, really cool. Well, it's not it's not actually Lancia. It's a side company that's making them, but it's. Still Ferrari powered. Still looks like a Stratos. It's really cool looking. It's really guys, cool. I Google love it if you guys wheels. haven't seen it yet. If you're in the if you're in the cars like that, yeah. it's taking <clears throat> the car. It's taking the old. It's Lancia, basically it's basically, and it's basically yeah. smoothing. It's it basically out doing what Dodge it. did with the Challenger with the new Challenger. I mean, it's kind of that along those lines. But it's it, really it's cool. So good looking. But that's really cool. So yeah. So. That would be kind of cool. Um, it'd be nice to get the Ferrari license back oh, and yeah. do a full-on exotic car culture and do like a Ferrari, a Lambo. Um, I'd love, because Mattel has the casting, but Hot Wheels doesn't have the casting, for Hot Wheels to do a Mira. Oh, yeah, because Matchbox has that casting. But, yeah. Yes. Yeah, a Mira. A, a Grand or National a would be kind of cool. Yeah, Grand National would be Buick Grand National would be cool. Yeah, especially if they do it with the old casting that the front comes off of, oh. would be interesting. Would be kind of cool. But yeah, it'd be kind of cool for a full-on exotic with like a, a new Ferrari, um, a Lambo oh, that they haven't so done. So cool if they did a Ferrari Dino. That'd be a new casting for Hot Wheels. No, they've it? done a Dino. They have. There's a Dino in the in, I'm gonna in a need retro to find that. I need to There's find There's a Dino that. in a Retro Entertainment series. I'd have to show it to you. The Dino is one of my but, uh, favorite films. But uh, some of the new... Because um, they did the F12, which was one of the last ones they did for Ferrari. There's the new front engine car. I can't remember the name of it. It just recently came out. Oh, Ferrari? For, that would be the cool one for Ferrari. A Lambo would be kind of hard to do because I think they've done everything. They've done a lot of Lambos. And Lambo right? hasn't come out with a new one yet, but do a Lambo... I would like to see um, Hot Wheels do um, the Mercedes, um, if they have it in the Matchbox casting, but the CLS, 
Oh, mm, uh, well, maybe, maybe you. I don't like this car. But that one would be a cool one to do in Hot Wheels for maybe an exotic. I'm. Um, I'm a new Alpha might be kind of cool. Oh yes. You know, um, because uh, they haven't done an Alpha since they've done the C8 Competizione. Um, you guys might not like this idea if you know the car, but um, G36. What? Is that it? The car that they that um Jeremy had on, uh, the Grand Tour. That Alpha. Oh, oh, oh! You mean the the old one? Yeah, the old Alpha. That old one. Oh yeah, that might be kind of cool. Um, I've seen that car and I like it. I can't remember the what the number of it was. Yeah, on Grand Tour. Yeah, I know what yeah. you're talking about now. That would be kind of cool. So an old Alpha might be kind of interesting. An older Alpha, yeah. Outside of the Julia that they've already done would be kind of cool. Um, an, another kind of because you got the Pagani. Got McLaren. Yeah. yeah. But it'd be kind of cool to come across with a new, um, a new exotic that they haven't done in a, that they haven't done a new one of yet or something would be kind of cool. Is there, like, in real life, in a real car, is there something? That, um, I think Hollywood. I'd like to see him, I would like to see him, I would like to see him bring back the Koenigsegg. They haven't done that since they did it in the, Fast uh, Need for Speed set, could, could, and the new Koenigsegg would the newest Koenigsegg would be kind of cool. Would a Vulcan count? Oh yes, the Aston, the Aston Martin, Martin Vulcan? Vulcan. Would that count? As that exotic? would be cool. You tell us. Would, do you think that counts? As I can I think that counts as an exotic because that thing is freaking fast. It's a monster. That thing is huge. Monster. Look at its specs. It makes nine hundred. I think 900, close to 1,000 horsepower. It is not race legal. It is not, not street, street legal. legal. Yeah, Koenigsegg, yep. It's basically illegal. You can only own it to take and it on I think, I think Hot Wheels still has the Aston, Aston Martin license. license. I think. Um, what's because the latest still... one they did? I th was it the DB10? DB9 or DB10, something like was that. that. Was that the latest one, one they did? Yeah, because the same one they keep producing is... The, uh, the, the one they keep producing is uh, it this one. The DB is that. That's the one they keep yeah. coming out with all the time. The V8 Vantage. The V8 Vantage is the one yeah. they they keep coming out with all the time. But um, the Vulcan, that would be really. That would cool. be a cool car. You'll have to tell us if you think that that would be counted cool. as an exotic. I think that I would makes... count it. I would count it as an exotic. That'd be cool. Let's. The Amazon yeah. DB11. The DB11. That one. That one's another. Um, yeah, that's good another one. good car. Um, I'd like to see um, Aston come back into IMSA racing. They left not too long ago. Um, they still. They have... really left after the yeah. the Super Lega. DBS Super Lega. Yeah, that's a cool car too. Um, Aston really left racing after. That driver died at Le Mans. Yeah. Well, they still they still run on on uh, the Europe circuit, but they they run a lower tier of racing. But they don't but, run yeah. in the uh, they don't run in the uh, American side anymore. Yeah. Um. But the Vulcan would be that really would be a cool, cool car to do. That'd be really cool. And then um uh something another set I wouldn't mind seeing them doing would be like an all British car oh, culture yeah. set. <clears throat> jag, a well, jag, yeah. jag would be cool. They're technically were British. They're not owned by British anymore. But you know, mm, Jag has to the old British stuff. Um, you can still Bugatti. consider. You can, can still consider McLaren as British because they're built yeah, in Britain. But, but a lot, a lot of the British stuff was just sold off, and it's not British. But that would be kind of cool to see a I think, culture set. I think Aston is now owned by a German. Well, they were um, owned by Ford, and then Ford sold them off. And I'm not... That's like Bentley. Bentley is owned by the same people that own Audi. And Bugatti was so, British, no, too, No, Bugatti was French. Okay, it's always been French. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um, which which we have... And... That's that's the new one that's coming out. We've got a new Bugatti, uh, Bugatti coming out in Hot Wheels. Really? The latest... Uh, did, it's they not did the Veyron, but Veyron. it's the, the, um, the Chiron. That's the what it Chiron, is. Chiron, is that what it's called? It's coming out uh, later this year. G case. Is that I'm is guessing. that labeled as a hypercar or a supercar? 
I you know. I think it's hyper, but I'm not quite sure. Yeah, but Bugatti definitely went in that direction once they got big again. They went supercar. But that's going to be a cool one to pick up when that one comes out in Hot Wheels. I'm interested because they haven't shown one with the with a complete paint scheme. It's just been a prototype that they've shown on on the internet so far. But I'm looking forward for that one to come out. I don't want to see the new vet come out. She He's a little hypercar. I I don't like it. Yeah. I hate it. I don't he's, agree with he, it. He, it looks terrible. It's taking Bet in a direction it should <clears throat> never go. That's my opinion. If you guys don't, if you vet. guys haven't heard, the new Vet is a mid-engine car. That that is not in debate. The it new will be C, a mid-engine. The new C. What are they on? C nine. Yeah. No. C ten. C eight. No, the C eight is the current car. Okay, so yeah. C nine. C nine is going to be a mid-engine. Corvette. C8? Is it the C8? C8? Okay, yeah, so okay. yeah, it's C7. Yeah, so it's okay. C8. That's what I thought. Um, look it up. <clears throat> it looks terrible. I mean, it, you look at it from the side and it looks like... What about... Uh, Shintanaro? From, from Lam Lambo? Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, um, le um, Lambo's been doing a lot of weird stuff lately with the Urus. It's basically... Well, yeah, they're... It's they're, they're, basically... Of what you would take as a Lambo, put in an SUV, and it's just useless. They're trying to broaden their market, I think. And now, they're thinking about doing a pickup truck. That'd be weird. You search it up. They There's pictures. They've done prototypes. Yeah, it's... And it's got a Lambo engine and a terrible-looking truck. And it's, it's just... It's going to be useless. There's no point in it. And I don't, Lambo I wants to stick with supercars. That just period. They can do four doors. I mean, their four they doors aren't bad. Four doors pretty cool. Their four doors that. aren't bad. They're what they're trying to do is they're trying to keep up with Fort Porsche and Ferrari, which are doing successful four doors and SUVs. Well, Ferrari has done an SUV. Porsche has, but Ferrari, Ferrari hasn't. I, well, no. aren't they? Aren't they? Looking Not that I know it? of. Ferrari's going in the direction of doing. Uh, Crossover engine electrics yeah. here. See, and the Lambos are ugly, ugly next to Lambos are ugly as it's the SUV. Yeah, yeah. The Urus is not pretty. It, it's I'll not tell you that. no, and it's like it's an extremely powered up SUV, and there's no there's point no, in it being that much of power. It? What's the use of it? There, there really isn't. It's and basically it's basically owning the Lambo name. When you gotta have a bigger car to have kids in. Yeah, and the <clears throat> Europe must be different in the area of cars right now, because America, you've probably heard that a lot of dealerships are dropping sedans. Oh, in favor of SUVs. In favor of trucks. SUVs and trucks, because that's where the market is going. Make off-road SUV. Like, well, yeah, yeah, we agree. Yeah. Um, and. Uh, I think four door S uh, sedans will probably not be seen on the roads in the next 20, 30 years because the market in America is shifting. But um, yeah, it's kind of sad because mm -hmm. they'll still run the two dollar muscle cars. Well, yeah, that, still have that, that's things, never gonna it's... end. Because that's where you can't you can't, you can't do a replace. racing series on an SUV yeah, or a pickup doesn't. truck. It just doesn't work. They need Corvettes and Camaros and Mustangs. That's why that's to why you see NASCAR race. go to the Camaro and the Mustang. Uh huh. And whatnot, and, because the car companies are drifting away from four door sedans and and whatnot. Lambo ears it. Car show, they look out of shape in person. Yeah, I just I even even in the photos, they don't look. I mean, See, don't look right. And um, I used to think that way of the Porsche SUV, but I've grown to like it. It's not the bad. The Panamericana. The Panamericana. It yeah. look. It actually looks good, and it has use. It's not an extremely powered SUV like the Urus is. It's not ridiculous. It's actually yeah. um. It's actually got style to it. It's got style and it's got use. You yeah. know, you can actually use it as a family car. And, and without having even the even the horsepower. Porsche Cayenne is. A That's their nice. sedan, isn't it? No, the Cayenne is the the SUV. The looking, latest SUV. The latest looking SUV. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which is it's not bad, but when I think Porsche, I think sports car. I, don't I think, think when I think Porsche, I immediately go to nine eleven. Well, 
that's what their that's their motor. main line of yeah, cars so. that they produce. So, but uh, outside of that, yeah. But it'd be kind of cool to see Hot Wheels kind of get uh, like expand. It'd be nice to see him get the Ferrari license back. That'd be great. I'd love that. Um, it'd be nice yeah. to see him kind of. I love the the. Don't get me wrong. I love the JDM stuff. I just think they're they're a little too heavy in it right now. All all the Japanese. I, I think cars. we need a a better mix. You know, I think <clears throat> Hot Wheels has done a lot of them because when Japanese historics came out, it blew up. Yeah, Everybody yeah. wanted a Japanese car, and so Hot you Wheels guys just dove up into it. Your Hot Wheels on the wall. How? What do you guys do to hook up? All right, I've got them just nailed. They're just nailed. I just used the hook and just put a nail yeah, in this thing. Yeah, they're, they're burning it out. And yeah. gassers, gassers, they're getting there. They're, they're the, really the 50, going on. The 55 is getting there. Yes, the 55. I mean, they've done, they came out with it in the Iski Racing Cams, right? No, it was, there was, it was one before that. That was, was actually the second that. one. Yeah, and then they blew up with that one, yeah, and it's, it's starting to burn so, out. It, it's nice to see them bringing back the the Ford and the, and the, the, the Nova. And getting the Nova out of RCA, R, RLC and into the main line yes. kind of ish. I'd like to I'd see... I'd like to see them on the station wagon. There's that yeah. Asher station oh. wagon coming. Oh, I'd love to get that. But I'm glad to see some cars come out of RLC and into main lines like this Dodge. Well, that wasn't RLC. That was... Uh, I thought it was. No, that came in... Um, well, no, that was... Uh, I know, I got it. I got it. Okay. Uh, that was a... Uh, I thought you said it was our No, it was, Sorry, a, that, it was a convention car. That is my mistake. And it was a vintage vintage garage. It first came out in uh, a vintage garage or the garage series or something mm -hmm. like that. But it, it'd be really nice to see some cars come out of RLC and become available to... Um, Mopar. It'd be nice to see some new Mopars come out too, yes. Yeah. Car Meet 5-Pack. Yeah, that one's a good one. I, we had that one, yeah. Yeah, that one's a good one. Um, it'd be nice to see some RLC cars come out. I do, I do agree with that, though. They, 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 they hit on a car, and they just they do it over and over and over and yeah, over and, and over. until it burns out. And yeah. they, they realize it burns out too late. For electric cars, looks like we'll be 55 again. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I know. It's like the Gasanova, when they, the last uh, boat car they did was really good. And I love that they came out with that car again in in uh, in the gasser set, and then it's really cool that the Nova's coming back again in the cargo carrier set. <coughs> it was nice to see the Dodge. Uh, what was that? The Coronet? Oh come on! Oh yeah. The, he he. We found no. Scroll up. Just scroll like that. Yeah. Hey, phones being. There, there we go. Exotics five pack. That one was good. Yeah, that was a good one. That was good. Um, we got that one. But yeah, it was. It's cool to see the Nova coming back again. I mean, I'd like to see the Dodge again, the Coronet that was in the, oh, the yeah. Gasser set. He actually has the first edition of that car. That yeah, we, we we found that at the yard. We, that we stumbled sale. across in an estate sale open. It was in great shape. Oh, it'd be, it'd be nice to see him. It'd nice to see them bring that back one more time again, and maybe bring it into the main line somehow and do a plastic uh, base. base for it. But, yeah. But yeah, that gasser station wagon, the I'm Nova that's coming is going to be cool. The Nova station um, wagon. It'd be cool for them to do some other drag cars outside of gassers, like a couple yeah. more pro stock cars. I love the new oh, no, and last year's the exotic. Same one. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So, whoops. Speed Burr five pack with a five pack. I saw that. T I almost bought that five pack today. The only yeah. problem. The Willy Gasser. The Willy Gasser. I'm yeah. I'm excited for that one. Um, the uh, I almost bought that five pack today. The only problem is, is there's only two cars in that pack that I like, and I, mm -hmm. I really, it was really hard for me to pay five dollars for two cars. I love that five ten in that. It looks really cool. I love that that tempo scheme on that car in that set. But <clears throat> I might go back for it later this week if it's still there. Sometimes I may pick it up just to have that five ten. But I like. I agree with you. That's a cool. That's a cool. There's a, the that new truck five pack that's coming out that I haven't seen yet. That's got the the sandblaster, mm. um, the 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 what's the the two ten? 
the 620 Datsun truck in it. And oh, yeah. That one's good. I haven't seen that here yet. It hasn't hit here yet, but I, that might, that's probably going to be another cool five pack. It's got at least four out of the five in it yeah. that I like. So. They've been doing some pretty cool five packs lately. But I might, I might pick that one up when I see it. <coughs> some of those five packs are really, they're not worth uh No, because they got, they got like two or three really good send cars. Send me your address in a PM and I will send you a the right. five pack, five ten. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Just scroll. I have four or five of them. Oh, oh okay. wow, nice. All right. John, yeah, John, I'll, I'll look you up on Messenger or I'll PM you. In. What you guys' favorite Hot Wheels car, any Hot Wheels car? Oh. You mean like one? That's going to be hard for him. <laughs> if you're talking one singular car, I'm never going to be able to answer that, ever. I may have to friend go. Friend on Facebook also. Friend on friend friend on Facebook. Ah, oh, okay. Oh yeah, John. Okay, yeah. I'll message you. I'll message you on Messenger. Uh, oh. Any six that I, that doesn't help narrow it down. <laughs> um. You're already friends with him, Dad. I know. I, yeah. 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 I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll yeah. I'll message you. I'll send you on Messenger. You see, that's a problem. Because Hot Wheels has done so many, and they're only adding. There's the M2 BMW. Am I right, M2? Which one? The, the, the mid-engine race car. The mid-engine race car that never made it. That one, right there. Oh, the, the M1. M1, that's right. The M1 BMW. There's that one. There's the 962 Porsche. There's the, there's the 935 Longtail. Um... The 787B Mazda, and they're coming out with the C9, right? Mazda? Or is, was that just one of them? Not coming out with it. Out with it. I'd have to go, yeah, I'd have to go, if I go any it. five, I'd have to go for one, go old school, hot bird. Um, the speed machine C9 Vet is one of my favorites. I have that car. Um, uh, I'd have to go, even though we just said it's yes. kind of being overused, I'd have to say the 55 Gasser is probably one of my favorites, even yeah, though it's being overused. It's being really overused. Um, I like the premium versions. The two, the two pre, the only two pre, well, there's three now, because if you count the 550 faves. But I love the print version. Um, granted, it's it's probably overused, but um, I like that one. Probably another one that's probably not really out there would be the uh, the one that's probably one of my favorites. Also, for probably number four would be any of the Don Perdome funny cars. Mm. Would be probably one of mine. Sixty-seven Camaro is mine. That's not a car they do a whole lot of. Uh -uh. If, um, and then probably number probably number five, I would have to say, would be the AA Arcuda. So, if I had to pick now, and I'm going to try, I'm not going to go one, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to pick five. They're probably all going to be race cars. But if I had to pick five, it, I'd take the set Mazda 787. Cool copies are cool. The Porsche 962. The... Um, Another Porsche. Oh, the 917 long tail. The 917 long tail. Even though they haven't done a premium of it, I would love to see them do a premium of it. And that one. I can't remember. What, the 917, the red one? Yeah, yeah the, the 917. The regular 917. Porsche. From the, the uh, 100, so, 100% yeah. Like I said, all race cars, all historic Lamar race cars, that's... um. Typically, where I go, if I have to choose some of my favorites, and I'm going to add one. I'm going to add the M1 BMW. It's nice that. that they did that car. Um, I love that they did that car. It's such <clears throat> a good car. Um, it's, it is in um, Gran Turismo Sport. I'm going to buy that car <laughs> and race it. Um, but Hot Wheels has done such... I love what they've been doing with all of the historic race cars a lot lately. 
I love that they've brought them out. They can be hard to find, but I love that they've been bringing them out. My number and, two, yeah, eighty-three. That's a hard cook. That's a hard one to come by these days. Is the eighty-three Silverado? Um, and they have such a story value two. as well. Is another reason why I like them because I'm huge into racing. Maybe even more than my dad. <laughs> is that possible? <laughs> but I take such passion in it, and I think that's why I'd go race cars. But, oh man. I mean, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get off my phones at fifteen percent. Even looking at all the cars now, I am already changing my mind. Yeah, it's hard to pick one. It's too hard to pick. Way too hard to pick. <laughs> you can't ask me to choose what are my favorites because I will never solidly pick ever. <laughs> They'll change from you know from one moment to the next. He'll he'll look at his cars and go wait 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 no. Mine would be the GTR R35, R34, the Subaru, the Evo C6 suits, and the VW pickup. That's VW some... pickup. Not for me. Not for me, personally. The, the, I've seen a couple of that pickup, the VW pickup that I like in different paint schemes. Um, I don't know if I really like the latest one that was in the trucks, uh, the, the, the shop truck set, but... I have seen a couple that are kind of cool, but that I've seen in Hot Wheels that I like the paint scheme of. But yeah. So well, we're gonna get off. Um, my phone's at fifteen percent. I gotta go plug yeah, it in. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. We've been on for almost an hour and a half. So we gotta get off before so, it dies. On so you. we gotta get off before it dies on us. So uh, have a great week. Leave some on the pegs for your yes. other fellow collectors, and uh, we will see you guys next Saturday with the biweekly feature car. Um, I promise there'll be a a three for yes. Thursday this week. Um, I'll tape that tomorrow, probably. And then uh, we'll just keep on, keep on. So yeah. uh, have a great week. We're out. Love you guys. Catch you later. Bye.